The guard assembly consists of the wheel guard and a lock lever already installed to it. The guard attaches to a hub on the grinder's gearbox and covers half the grinding wheel. It can be adjusted to provide the best safety for your task. The guard can be damaged by dropping the grinder. Eventually, the lock could wear out. Replacing your grinder's guard is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the grinding wheel from the grinder. I'll depress the spindle lock, rotate the wheel until the spindle locks in place, and then use the wrench to remove the nut. Now I can remove the guard. I'll press the lock button and rotate the guard around until the arrow on the guard lines up with the arrow on the gear housing. Then the guard will pull free from the spindle. Now I can install the new guard. Again I align the arrows, press the guard onto the hub, press the lock button, and rotate the guard back around to the position needed for grinding. And now I can reinstall the grinding wheel. To install the inner disc flange, I align the recessed side of the flange with the spindle. Make sure it locks into place. Then I can install the grinding wheel and the nut. I'll lock the spindle lock and tighten up the nut with the wrench. And that's all it takes to install a new guard on your grinder. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.